Hey folks, it's Fitz from Pixels and Pills at the EDTC Revolutions Conference in Washington, D.C. It's my pleasure to have Andrew Shermer, Managing Director of McCann Human Care with me this afternoon. And he had some interesting observations shared about a panel we just did about patient blogging and the responsibility for companies and even the bloggers themselves. Yeah, I, I, I was uh, uh, impressed by the panel. Uh, of course, Michael, and, and also the content, but, but one of the things that we discussed after yeah. was the reality with, with the sweeping changes in healthcare and yeah. healthcare reform in the U.S. Yeah. Uh, somewhere on the uh, neighborhood of 35 to 40 million people are now going to be covered by insurance plans uh, uh, who were formerly not. Absolutely. And what that means with, with all the pressures in the physician's office, uh, the consumer continues to be the hunter. They yeah. continue to be the one that's going to be solving more of their own health problems right. because more of the cost and responsibility is going to be at the patient Absolutely. level. Absolutely. And so what we have to do when we think about digital connectivity yeah. and the long tail as it relates to people's ability to engage is realize that so many of these 35 to 40 million people are going to be lower socioeconomic uh, level consumers. Yeah. So what does that mean in terms of how they learn? Uh, are they going to be learning through deep engagement and deep Q&A and community? Alphanumeric? Uh, probably, not. probably not. The yeah. O's and ones will yeah, be invisible exactly. to them in exactly. every sense of the word. Exactly. So they're going to be learning yeah. probably more from having by watching yeah. as opposed to reading. Absolutely. And so the technology has to continue to become more and more invisible because the engagement has to become more personal. Right. And for people who, quite frankly, many will have uh, middle school education, uh, that communication happens to be most valuable when it is communicated through words, pictures, people yeah. talking, animation, cartoons, Absolutely. simplicity. Absolutely. And that's probably going to drive a lot of the, the modes of communication right. while the technology continues to get more um, complicated, the experience has to right. become more simple. You, you know what's fascinating in hearing you speak about that? It, it almost mimics the exact evolution of the way the digital experience has, has come to be. All the way from C prompt backslash right. to emails to portals like Yahoo, the ascendancy of Google, right. where all those hyperlinks merged into one simple line engaging the user right. and in a more right. active way. Right. The rise of social media, where instead of connecting folks to websites, you're connecting people to people. Correct. And now the explosion of mobile, yeah. where it's all about the device, it's all about the individual. Right. And that dovetails perfectly into the notion that instead of using text, conventional notions of communicating, we're really talking and communicating and interacting the way people do, person right. to person, visual, tactile, right. auditory. Right. And that fits perfectly with the notion too that as healthcare literacy continues to plummet, the technology available to us and these folks rises to match up to uh, absolutely. that. Absolutely. I have an old phrase I've been using which is uh, as complex as media has become, you can simplify it from a consumer user experience this way. Uh, there are three kinds of media. Lean back, lean forward, and lean down. Right. So, uh, and I'll work in, in inverse order. Lean down, is I've got to quickly check something. I've right. got to look up because I'm in the world, but right. I'm leaning down because I need something now. Right. Lean forward is I'm online and I'm actively seeking and searching and hunting and I'm in control. Lean back, which by the way is still the majority of media Absolutely. use in this country, Absolutely. is someone else do it for me. Exactly. And when you think about the healthcare consumer where the bulk of it is in the middle-aged baby boom cohort, that lean back is a respite from the rest of the day, Absolutely. which has become digitally connected. Right, right. So how do we get from the experience of not always I'm looking, yeah, exactly. but rather I need this, and then how do I get from here to lean back? Yeah, because yeah. that's where a lot Perfect. of healthcare learning is going to happen right. in the future. Right, and it's happening now because folks are leaning back on their couches and they're simultaneously leaning forward into their iPads, right. talking to their friends about the shows right. they're watching. So right. it almost it's a morphing in the future of the lean forward, well, lean back. At the same time. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All happening the same back. Exactly. Converging perfectly with the evolution of the patient, especially given healthcare reforms and the pressures on the right. system. Right. That's all very fascinating. So what, where do you think where, where do you think it's converging to? What's well, opportunity specifically I, I, and a handful of things that not only should we be on the lookout mm -hmm. for, but 
but us as, as, as providers and solution givers to our clients, I, I think what's the heads up? Well, we, I still think one of the primary challenges we face, which is a big part of the digital discussion regardless of category, scalability. Right. Because what happens and what we're seeing, and I think we've heard it in the last day and a half, is as we go down that long tail, we realize there are plenty of people out there that are individually engaged with their individual interests, but managing them, you can't have the inverse number of people on the brand marketer side right. doing the managing. Exactly. It's yeah, not right. scalable. Right. So in the in how do we use technology and how do we use traditional brand yeah. solutions to drive unified efforts and voice behind many, many touch points without having a direct correlation between, I, I, if I run a pharmaceutical company, I'm sorry, I can't have right. a marketer for every patient. Exactly. I don't right, have that right. ability. Right, right, right. So how do we use technology and communications right. to, to create the user experience that is individualized while managing at scale Absolutely. and managing at heft so that we can still drive brands, drive solutions, and drive products without having armies of people responding to every exactly. Twitter feed. Perfect. Perfect. It's Andrew Shermer talking about being smart and utilizing the technology to engage our clients the best way we can. Spitz from EDTC Revolutions 2012 in Washington, D.C. Thanks so much, Andrew. Thank you. Great, great Appreciate ideas. It.